Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here. This is another junk journal. It is um, different than, bound different than I normally do, so I'll go into that. And it's just a little bit different than I normally do it as well because I used a canvas for the cover. Um, I started this cover probably a couple years ago and I just never got to finish it. And I've been really working on getting projects finished that I have started and then just left. So. Um, once again, I have not printed off anything for this journal other than um, I backed some of the sheets with, that were already printed. And there is more ephemera that comes with this kit, but I did not print it because I did not have it already printed off. I printed off one of the envelopes, however, my printer was out of ink, so I didn't end up using that. Um, but yeah, it's just using what I already have. The only thing I bought for this journal was I did have to buy some elastic as I was out of it. So it is bound TN style um, and for those of you that don't know TN style journals or binding allows you to take the signatures in and out of the journal and then it's just wrapped with some um, bias tape. I don't know if it's vintage. I'm guessing it's definitely not new because I've probably had it in my stash for a number of years and I bought it from the thrift store. So it's just a white envelope. I didn't cover this piece. I just went as far as the canvas went. And like I said, this is a dollar store canvas. All I did was I took the image off the canvas, put it on the cover of this. I sewed it on and then I used scrapbooking paper and fabric on the inside. And I am so sorry, my camera just fell. Give me two seconds. Okay. Um, so that's all I did for that. And then I used a kit by TLC Creates, who is Paulette. TLC Creates Vintage, I believe. And it's two signatures. Now here's why I ended up doing the TN binding. I had made this cover for a one signature journal. However, I had enough pages that I wanted to include that I needed to have more than one signature. And I did not score this for a two signature journal. So all I did was... I used um, elastic binding and I punched the holes in the wrong spot the first time because I didn't use a template but I don't really think that's a big deal and it turned out really well these are not actually sewn together um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna sew them or not so and I will say it's printed on really high quality paper so the images are just beautiful I ordered some more of this paper and it is $25 a ream so I uh, use it carefully. Uh, so that's the first page. This is from Janie B, the backing page pages. Just a pocket. Another one from Janie B. Some fabric. These images are from the Graphics Fairy. So I made another notebook attached to an envelope like I did in my last journal that I showed you. Time cards with the peacock feather stamp. And like I said, this was stuff I already had. Um, the time cards were already stamped with peacocks. I didn't um, add any, I didn't pull out any stamps or dies or anything. That's not to say I won't, you know, as I use the journal. I did dye a couple of pages blue because I was out of blue paper, but I really just wanted to use things that I had already. I put in a couple of photo sleeves. Love this. I purchased Diane Reevely's, um Shimmer Spray. And I, yeah, I was playing with it. So I love the color of it. I don't love how thick it is. Like it came out thicker than I wanted, but it did turn out really pretty anyways. This is uh, an adult coloring book and there was a little bit of a mark here, I think coffee or something. So I just covered it with a scrap, but it's a peacock. 
and on the inside has tiger lilies that I started to color but I just left it because I can cover it or finish coloring it do whatever I want with it I need to, oops, I forgot to tape the, um, this part down. So I, what this is, is this just folded in half some lined paper that I had. Um, and then I added a piece like you do in the golden books, but I just forgot to tape it down so that this here is your pocket. And I just used the card stock scrap that I had. You would think with all the scraps I use, I'd possibly run out, but I probably never will. A pocket I had made, and then inside is cut off, and it says reader to reader, and I just back those on some cardstock. Um, a hidden paper clip. Another piece of that fabric. So most of the stuff, like I said, was all the embellishments and stuff were just all things I had in the folder for Peacock Journals. So obviously this isn't one, but I kind of put it together like this so it looks like kind of like a full peacock. I mean, clearly it's not, but yeah. Another time card. So beautiful, this kit. And, oh, this is something I drew in watercolor. And just did the same thing. I folded an end piece of it so that I could attach something on the other end. Um, the frugal crafter, Lindsay, has a tutor tutorial on um, watercolor peacock feather. It's years back, but that's where I got the tutorial from. I die cut shape with vellum. Paper clip that um, somebody sent me in Happy Mail many years ago, and it was just the right colors. And I, oh, here's the other photo pocket. I um, dyed this fabric using lace. So that's how I got that texture, uh, this paper, sorry. Tuck spot with the peacock image. And this is actually done on photo paper. Little matchbook. There's nothing inside. Some of the ephemera from the kit. Like I said, it's beautiful. This is just a napkin with a collage on there, another reader to reader card. I've made another peacock journal um, previously. This is the back of that watercolor. And I have one more that I need to make, but I don't have, I don't even believe I have a kit printed off or anything for it. So I'm not sure when I'm going to make it. And it's going to be a hardcover, which I. Hmm. As I said in my last video, I prefer to work in soft cover journals. I don't mind making hardcover journals if I'm going to sell them or if they're ordered or anything like that. So if you're interested in a hardcover peacock journal, it's more the purplish and royal colors. So purples and blues. This one has a lot of greens in it. 
um, let me know and I will gladly finish that um, sooner rather than later. Just a vintage envelope. Just some dyed paper um, on some scrapbooking paper and made a tag. Um, this is an envelope that I just covered with an image. This is from the, the Bouchard Gardens, I believe, in BC. Um, my friend sent me these pictures when she went, so I just printed them out on a I don't know what kind of paper it is. It's not regular paper. I just printed it so it's it's showing up super vibrant. Vibrant. It's actually not. It's it has a wood. Wow, I can't talk. A little bit of a weird almost texture to it. But anyways, so that's that, and then just some fabric on there, and then a tag on the back, and then some sprayed paper, the back of the canvas, and just kind of quadged together. So that is my peacock journal. Um, thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you enjoy this video, please subscribe and like and share my videos. Um, I've said a number of times, my views are majorly down. So it'd be nice to actually get my channel back up and kind of my videos getting viewed again. So anyways, I'll talk to y'all soon.